Hi, this is Bob from Wham's Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to customize this app grid of yours. So the basic Google app grid, or the waffles I like to call it, has all of your Google apps and some more. And then also all the third-party apps, uh, which we've installed as an academy, for example, PowerSchool Learning and Pear Deck and so forth. Now, to customize this, you can just simply drag and drop where you would like them. So if you use YouTube all the time, go feel free to drag that up here, right? And if you don't use my business at all, drag that down here, right? Photos up here, I use Hangouts all the time. And so again, you can get the idea, you can rearrange these. Now, if you want to have even better control over which apps are in here, which apps are not in here, and also include some custom apps, here's where you can actually install a Chrome extension called Google Apps Grid or Google Apps Launcher Customizer. To access this, uh, simply access the Google App Store. So here I can click on Show Apps. And your top leftmost one should be Web Store to access the Google Chrome Web Store. And if you don't see this icon, you can also just Google search Chrome App Store. This will appear. And then I'm going to search for uh, App Launcher. Your top hit is going to be the App Launcher Customizer for Google. I'm going to go ahead and add that to Chrome. It takes just a second, and you'll see that you have a new icon up here next to your Chrome Omnibox called App Launcher. It'll probably launch this uh, you know, promo tab. You can close that down. That's fine. And now if I click on this icon that just appeared, it'll open up my App Launcher. Right. So now I can have access to my App Launcher even if I'm not at a Google website right? from anywhere. I can access my Google App Launcher. What's even better is that I can customize it. So here I go to my settings. And you'll see that it starts you off with the apps that you already had in its arrangement that you already had them in. But what's even better is that now I can remove them if I don't want them at all. For example, if I never use Google Classroom, I can take it and remove the shortcut altogether. Uh, chat and Meet and Google Plus and uh, let's see what else would I, I don't use. Uh, that's fine. All right. And then there's, if there's other ones, right? I can add those here. So maybe I want to aid the Google My Maps. Maybe I use that feature all the time, and I wish I just had a shortcut to it. Now I can add that in there. But you literally have access to every single one of Google's apps from this list, and you can search them and figure out exactly what you want here in your grid. And as a bonus, you can actually add your custom shortcut as well. So maybe I want PowerSchool Learning to be right there. right? So here I'll click on Add Custom Shortcut. I'm going to get the URL for PowerSchool Learning. I'm just going to find that real quickly over here. Copied. All right. And then I'm going to paste it here. I can name it whatever I want. PowerSchool. All right. Uh, PowerSchool Learning. And then I can choose an icon for this. If I choose nothing, if I choose to save, okay, you'll see that the icon is going to default to whatever the uh, fav icon is of the website. And the fav icon is going to be this little icon that you see up here um, next to the title in your tab. And for me, that's fine. I'm going to use that one. But if I wanted to customize it, right, I can always put in a URL of an image and they have a custom icon. All right. So now it's down here at the bottom. And I'm going to drag this all the way to the top right, because I use that most often. Right, and now when I click on close and close, and I'm going to go to Google.com, right, I'll see that my app launcher has been replaced with my custom app launcher, which includes PowerSchool Learning and My Maps and everything right on top. And what's even better is that if I'm in some other website, right, and I want to change my PowerSchool Learning page, I don't even have to go back to Google. I can just simply kick this little icon up here in Chrome, and there it is. And I can re and I can launch. Um, Power School Learning right from there. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. Thanks for watching.